VSAM. VSAM stands for Virtual Storage Access Method. It is used to maintain and access data sequentially or random or dynamically. VSAM records are organized by key or relative byte address or sequentially depend on the organization of the VSAM dataset. That's the difference between VSAM and uh, PS file. In PS file, access mode is sequential. You cannot access random or dynamic in sequential file. Whereas in VSAM file, you can access either sequential or random or dynamic depend on the VSAM dataset that you use. So VSAM uh, dataset must be cataloged before it used. Catalog contains the information about the dataset like uh, space, name, uh, access criteria, security, etc. Your VSAM is more structured and organized in storing the data. That's the reason it it is used for protecting the data and provide fast access to the dataset. Now let's see the advantage and disadvantages of VSAM datasets. Advantages. The data can be accessed faster when compared to other uh, dataset type. Records in VSAM can be accessed sequentially, randomly or dynamically. It utilizes more free space. And VSAM datasets are device independent, so dataset can be imported or exported. And other advantage is your VSAM dataset can be shared in both batch and online environment. The disadvantage of VSAM is VSAM dataset require control information in addition to the actual data. The control inter uh, interval contains uh, information about the record and free space. So it requires a lot of DASD storage than the other type of dataset. VSAM can reside only on disk, not on tape. This is another disadvantage of VSAM. Now let's see the VSAM internal concepts. VSAM dataset contains three major components. One is cluster, second one is index, third one is data component. Cluster component, it's like a catalog entry. Index component is applicable only for uh, KSDS. Data component contains actual data. Your VSAM stores data and index details in the control intervals. Control interval contains these information. Look at the picture. This picture illustrates the how the control inter uh, interval stores the control inter in informations. It contains the logical records, free space, record definition field, control interval definition fields. Logical records from the above example, rec1 to rec n are the logical records which are stored from the beginning of the control interval. Free space is used to, for uh, data to be inserted. If you want to insert additional records, you can use a free space. RDF is a record definition field. It describes the length of the records and tells how many adjacent records are of the same length. It is a three byte field. Next is control interval definition field. It is a four bytes field. It contains information about the control interval like length of the data, amount of free space, etc. The maximum size of control interval is 32K. That is 32 kilobyte. And the minimum is 512 bytes. If the records are available, uh, if the records are variable size, then separate RDF available for each record in the control interval. If the records are fixed size, then each control interval will have only two RDF, that is a record definition field. Let's look at the diagram of a VSAM cluster, how it internally stores the data. VSAM cluster is a combination of data, data component, index component, and a sequence set. Data component actually contains the actual uh, data. Index component present the index related information. VSAM is able to retrieve the data component using the index component and here index component is applicable for KSDS. Okay, index 
set has multiple levels with pointers to point the sequence uh, set sequence set points to the control uh, interval of the records to access the data it consists of highest uh, key for each control in, uh, interval is stored here and it also consists of primary key and pointers to the control interval of the data component now let's see what are the different uh, vsum datasets available and how we can define each vsum datasets using idcms utility first let's see what is esds esds stands for entry sequential dataset it works just like a sequential file which contains uh, only cluster and data components okay we must mention non indexed while defining the esds cluster it supports only sequential access in the batch program random access is possible only if it is in cacs using rba you can uh, retrieve particular record from the esds in batch mode random access is not not at all possible say for example my esds file contain 1000 records if i want to access 990 second record i have to process sequentially from the first record now let's see how to define esds file you can use this example to create an esds file i have named my esds file as user id dot kanika dot vsam dot esds my volume name is vol002 record size is 80 comma 80 then i have allocated space quantity as track my control interval size is 4096 since it is esds i have used non indexed so this non indexed keyword is mandatory to create esds dataset next ksds ksds stands for key sequential data set it has three components cluster data and index we must code indexed while defining the ksds cluster here a uh, data component consists of uh, sorted records which are based on the key values index component consists of key values and pointer to the data records records are sorted based on the key fields in ksds each key must be unique so duplicate entries are not possible in ksds and your ksds dataset can be fixed or variable length record when you have to pass a key value to get particular record in ksds then this key value is searched in the index component first once it is found, it passes the corresponding memory to the data component and retrieve the results uh, data from the data component. Let us see how we can define the KSDS. So this example illustrates how you can create an KSDS file. I have named my KSDS file as userid.ragov.vsam.ksds. Here I have given the record size as 80,80 80. then I have allocated uh, other attributes related to KSDS file for example uh, space quantity as track, control interval size as uh, 4096, free space is allocated as 20,20 20, like that. Since it is KSDS I have used uh, keys and uh, index parameters. The length of the key uh, mentioned here is 4 and the offset is first position in key in keys parameter first position starts at 0 second position starts at 1 and so on so you have to be very careful when you are defining key uh, indexed keyword is mandatory to create ksds datasets so okay, ksds contains a data and index, index component so i have defined the the name of both data and index components here 
RRDS. RRDS stands for Relative Record Dataset. RRDS records are identified using Relative Record Number. Records are stored in number here, so we must mention numbered while defining the RRDS cluster. It has only cluster and data components and it supports sequential, random or dynamic access. Uh, one more thing is it does not support uh, primary key index or alternate index. When you want to access records uh, directly, you can use uh, RRN value that is relative uh, record number. Let us see how we can define the RRDS dataset. You can use this example to create an RRDS uh, file. In our example, the name of the cluster is userid.navin.vzm.rrds. The record uh, size is 80,80. Then I have allocated uh, space quantity as track. My control interval size is 4096. So in RRDS, uh, uh, stores the data in numbered format. So I have mentioned number to define the RRDS cluster. Now let's see what are the different uh, VSAM datasets available and how we can let us see how we can print the ESDS dataset. It can be print using the print command. The range of records can be specified by using from address and to address keyword. Here uh, KSDS store the data in the address format. So we have to specify the range in from address and to address like this here a CAH CHA or represents a character how do you print KSDS dataset KSDS dataset can be print using the keyword from key and to key the syntax print command and character is same as uh, printing the ESDS file. But in KSDS, you have to use the keyword from key and to key. So here, for example, if I want to uh, display the key value from 100 to 200 I can code like this from key of 100 to key of 200 like that now let's see how we can print RRDS datasets RRDS datasets can be print using the from number and to number like this here I am printing the dataset uh, bala dot RRDS character from number of 1 comma 3 so when you code like this uh, assume the user id dot uh, bala dot rrds contains 5 records when i print entire data sets all the 5 records are processed like this so whereas when i execute the above jcl only 3 records will be printed because i am using the range from 1 to 3 in the control card so when I execute the JCL the output will be printed like this